great white sharks are one of the ocean's most notorious predators and are known for their frightening rows of teeth, intimidating speed and impressive size. People are inherently interested in these incredible sea creatures. Due to their popularity, great white sharks would dramatically affect attendance in marine parks and aquariums in a positive way. But why can't you own or see a great white shark in an aquarium? Today's video will discuss why you can never see a great white shark in an aquarium or own one. But first, hit the like button and subscribe for more interesting videos. Thousands of adventure fanatics, brave tourists, and adrenaline enthusiasts go great white shark diving in Gansby annually. Many who can't find the resources encouraged to do so head to aquariums with the hope of viewing these sharks, but they find themselves out of luck. You cannot keep a great white shark in captivity. Aquariums have attempted to catch the great white shark for their exhibitions, but every attempt has failed. Aquariums pull together many resources between the 70s and 90s to try and capture them, but face too many complications. Many of them died shortly after, and the longest survived for only six months. Most aquariums decided the cost was not worth the payoff and abandoned the mission. The longest a great white shark survived in an aquarium before 2004 was 16 days only. This was despite various institutions trying to keep it alive. Researchers offered one possible explanation that the shark arrived at the aquarium with injuries that failed to heal. These injuries could have occurred during its capture and transit. The Monterey Bay Aquarium held a great white shark in captivity for six months using a 1 million gallon tank over 3.7 million litres. The tank was specifically designed for open water creatures and was 35 feet deep, approximately 10 metres. The aquarium used a small great white shark measuring about 4 feet despite the massive tank. The shark was tiny compared to the 15 feet of a great white shark's full size. It was easy to feed the tiny shark because, at that size, sharks feed on fish instead of sea mammals. Eventually, the aquarium released the shark back into the ocean after successfully holding it for about six months because it killed several tank mates. Let's explain why you can't own a great white or find it in an aquarium. Hard to capture. Great white sharks are enormous, with the biggest reaching up to 20 feet, weighing more than 2,000 pounds. The huge size is appealing, but one of the reasons it is extremely difficult to capture them. You will need specially designed tanks to accommodate their massive torpedo-shaped bodies. These tanks are extremely costly to build, and only the aquariums that dominate the market can afford them. Their huge size also exposes these sharks to many injuries during the capturing process. The injuries worsen when they are relocated into an aquarium, eventually causing their death. Difficult to transport. The struggles does not end when you get a great white shark into a large transportation tank. These sharks breathe using a process known as ram ventilation, which involves swimming in straight lines at high speeds and with the mouth open. The process constantly passes water through the shark's skills, obtaining oxygen. While most fish can use their mouths to pump water in and out of their grills, the great white shark needs to be in constant motion for water to get in its grills. They will weaken and struggle to breathe when they slow down or stop moving. This is the reason you cannot capture great white sharks in nets. Open water panel tanks specially designed and large enough to allow them to breathe and minimize injury are required. Transporting these huge tanks over large water bodies from where the shark is captured to the aquarium is extremely difficult. The tank is arduous and costly, considering mileage and fuel. White sharks need more space. Not only do these sharks need space to transport, but their new habitat inside the aquarium needs to mimic the open ocean. Sharks are used to roaming up to 50 miles in the ocean each day. White sharks are not used to staying in one area for long. Many aquariums host sand tiger sharks, zebra sharks and nurse sharks in tanks without any difficulties, 
because these sharks traverse the ocean surface. But the great white shark is used to exploring a deeper and larger terrain. This is why you will need an enormous dedicated aquarium tank, or the shark will injure itself in a smaller tank. These sharks will need a dedicated tank to live alone because they will kill and eat the other creatures in their tanks. They refuse to eat. Great white sharks are used to hunting in the wild waters, which creates a challenge for aquarium caretakers because they refuse to eat food served by humans. These sharks enjoy foods like sea otters and various sea mammals, which are highly endangered and difficult to get in bulk lawfully. Sharks primarily eat live prey, which poses another challenge because live feeding is not audience friendly. These sea predators enjoy the thrill of hunting and become depressed if restricted from doing so. They injure themselves. Since great white sharks are nomadic, keeping them in a confined space does not bode well. They will aggressively hit the aquarium glass and walls, trying to free themselves at the cost of their well-being. These sharks injure themselves so badly that most of them die. Some experts think that glass affects a great shark's electroreception system, causing it to react aggressively, while others suggest that depression causes its behavior. Sharks are saltwater creatures and incorrect water solutions can cause them depression. But most scientists agree that captivity has negative effects on all animals. Great white sharks are extremely difficult to handle due to their aggressive disposition and large size. Most zookeepers would rather not go through the dangers and hassle of getting into contact with them. Holding animals in captive is outdated. Since we all understand the negative effects of holding animals in captivity, people and zookeepers should be against putting them on display. Innovation and technology can revolutionize the aquarium and zoo industry and human interaction with these creatures. Aquariums and zoos should display robotic animals, which is more cost-effective and provides a more humane experience. Robotic animals will not need food or the care of zookeepers. Many people consider holding great white sharks in aquariums as inhumane. The high cost of capturing and maintaining a great white shark and the possibility that it may end up dying has forced humans to leave these creatures in the ocean. Do you think it is inhumane to hold animals in captivity? Should scientists and researchers find a way of holding the great white shark in aquariums so that humans can interact with them closely? Leave your views below and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.